Hello there. Great. So I'm loving the feedback. Uh, at the moment, it's really wonderful. I'm getting these amazing texts and these messages. And so it's just great to hear how many of you are doing this. So at the moment, I think there's around 30 of you are doing the live in the morning. And then when I looked today, there was around 60 who did it during the day yesterday. That's amazing. It's amazing. So many of us creating a practice, doing this together. Um, uh, it's bringing me great joy. And yeah, it's like that, it's that woman, the Japanese woman. Maria Kodo or something, anyways, and uh, it sparks joy in me. Um, so it's really such a pleasure to share my joy. So come, come stand on your mat. So just start by rolling your shoulders. And as you roll your shoulders, you just get a sense of your collarbones, your shoulder blades. And then roll your shoulders in the other direction. Feeling the sense of, are they different from each other? Nice. Just bring your feet slightly apart and roll out through your hips. How are they doing? Day nine. Mm, is there any difference after yesterday? Can you feel it in your thighs and your hips? Did you feel it when you got out of bed this morning? Nice. So take your right foot and bring it a little bit forward in front of you. So maybe around six inches forward from where it is and bring your both hands to your left knee and forward fold. So you're trying to bring your belly down to your thigh. Nice. And then come stand all the way up and bring your right foot to the floor. And we'll do the exact same thing again. Right foot forward, bend forward. So you bring your belly down to your thigh. You're really strengthening out through that left leg and lengthening into the right. And come back either from the side. And again, right foot forward. Sit your bum down. And come in. Great. We'll do the other side. Left foot forward. Sit your bum down. Really pushing down into that right knee as you come forward. And then bring your foot back. And again, bring your left foot forward, sit your bum down, really using the hands on your knee to support you. And back up. And one more time, foot forward and coming down. Nice. So stand with your feet close together and step your right foot wide and then bend your right knee and glide a bit low into that right knee, into the left thigh. Come back up. Standing tall, squeeze your bum and then bend into the left knee. And then standing tall, squeeze your bum, right knee. I really feel like you're standing up, squeeze your bum. You're really leaning into something deep in the belly, into the lower back. Standing up, squeeze your bum. One more time, each side. Low on the right. Standing up, squeeze your bum. And then low on the left. And standing up and squeeze your bum. Cool. Stand forward to the front of your mat. So from here, bring your right foot forward, sit your bum down and just lean into the deep of your lower back. Your right leg is straight, your left knee is bent. Nice. Bring both hands forward and then see if you can or if you lift your foot up, swing your right leg back and step it back into your lunge position. Nice. Step back into your plank. Drop your knees down, lower your belly all the way down and bring both hands wide, wider than your mat. And then straighten out through the left arm, bend your right knee and sweep your right foot over towards the left hand. So I'm rolling backwards towards my left hand with my right foot. And then roll back onto your belly, straighten your leg. And same side again, bend your right knee, sweep your right foot towards your left hand. And coming back, my right elbow is bent. My hand is pushing into the floor. One more time, bend your right knee. Sweep it gently and steadily towards the left hand. And then bring your belly to the floor. Bring both hands to the floor. Push back into your cat. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Bending with your right knee bent. Lift the right sole of your foot towards the ceiling. And then bend your knee. Draw your forehead to your knee and your knee to your forehead. Bring the sole of your foot to the ceiling. Bend your knee, draw your forehead to your knee and your knee to your forehead. We're going to include the hand. So as you draw your right leg back, draw the left hand off the floor and bring your left hand to your hip. <laughs> and then bring your elbow to your knee and your knee to your elbow. Bring your right leg back, left hand to your hip. And then elbow to your knee, knee to your elbow. One last time. Elbow back, foot back, pausing there. Mm 
Nice. Drop your right knee to the floor. Stretch your left arm long, long, long out in front of you. Bending your right elbow. Lean down into that left armpit. Feeling length through the left side of your body. Nice. Bring both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog. And then slowly walking forward with your feet. Walking forward. Walking forward. Walking forward. All the way forward. Bending your knees, slowly rolling up, bring your arms wide, palms come together. And then lower your hands down till they come to your right knee and stretch the left leg long in front of you. Sit your bum down deeply with the left leg long in front of you. Nice. Either swing your leg back here already and then bring your hands to the floor or bring your hands to the floor and swing your leg back and step back into your lunge. And step back into your plank. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. Bring both hands wider than your mat and then straighten out into the right arm so it's straight out to the side. Bend your left knee and sweep your left leg backwards towards the right hand. And then slowly coming back, bring your belly to the floor, straighten out through the left leg. And again, bend your knee and sweep your left leg backwards. Belly to the floor. Straighten out through your leg, last time, bend your knee, sweep your leg backwards. Nice. Come all the way to the floor, hands to the floor, push back into your cat, hands underneath your knees. No, <laughs> hands under your shoulders, knees underneath your hips, and then lift the left foot backwards towards the ceiling. And then forehead to your knee, knee to your forehead. Left foot backwards towards the ceiling. Forehead to your knee, knee to your forehead. Begin to include the right hand as your foot sweeps back. Draw your right elbow back till your hand comes to your hip. And then elbow to your knee, knee to your elbow. Hand goes back, foot goes back. Elbow to your knee, knee to your elbow. Nice, one more time. Hand comes back, rest it on your hip. Foot is back and just find your balance. Nice. Drop your left knee to the floor. Reach your right arm long in front of you. Bending the left elbow, drop your forehead down towards the floor, lengthening out into that right armpit. Nice. Both hands to the floor. Push back into your downward dog. And then slowly walking forwards. All the way forward to the front of your mat. Bending your knees, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together, hands come to rest in front of your chest. Nice, very lovely. Next one. Drop your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down. So bend your knees really deeply. So your hands are on the floor, your feet are flat on the floor. You're trying to bring your bum down towards your heels as low as you can. Just really feel the squeeze. Nice, straighten through your legs, step the Right foot back into a lunge, pausing there, really leaning into your lunge. Drop the right knee to the floor. Bring both hands to your front knee and then reverse backwards. Interlock your fingers and reach your arms up towards the ceiling. So just as an experiment, arch your back so your chest is really open and your bum is sticking backwards. And then do the opposite, round your back. So as you round your back, you push your pelvis forward and you have more of a stretch to the front of that right hip. So keep your pelvis tucked forward. Lean forward into that right hip, bending the front knee. And then slowly straighten the leg as much as feels possible, maybe even lifting the front of the foot off the floor. Bend your knee, lean into that right hip. And then reverse, stretching out through that front leg. One more time. Bend your knee, leaning into it, pausing there, reach long through the torso. Nice, stretching out through your front leg. Actually bend your knee a little bit, bring your hands to the floor and then stretch out through your front leg and draw your forehead down to the inside of your left knee. 
your head is dropping down towards the floor, then really allow the back of your body to lengthen and soften, the back of your leg to lengthen and soften. Nice. Bend your front knee. Turn both toes towards the right side of your mat. Bring your hands to the middle of your mat. And then just bending one knee, stretch out through the other. Bending one knee, stretch out through the other. And really feel the edge or the, the depth of what is possible in wellness for you. And just notice how you drop down on one side. So we're creating strength, mobility flexibility so really listen to all those different elements and if you don't have the strength but the flexibility then that's not so great and if you have loads of strength and not so much flexibility not that it's not so great but there's just an optimum way that we can be one more time each side deep down one side and then deep down the other side cool turn your toes towards the front of your mat step forward Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, slowly rolling up. Reach your arms wide, palms come together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees all the way down. Hands to the floor, bend your knees deeply. Sit down as low as you can. Round your head and tuck your forehead in. I'm not gonna tuck my head in. It'll sound like Darth Vader. <laughs> Nice. Stretch to your left leg, stretch it way back behind you, and then step back into your lunge. Drop your left knee to the floor, pushing back into a kneeling position. Interlock your fingers, rise up towards the ceiling, arching your back just to notice, and then tuck your tailbone forward. And as soon as you do that, you'll just feel the whole front of the right left thigh turn on, slowly dropping forward. Stay constant in the stretch of the front of the left thigh, and then slowly. Stretch out through the front leg, bending the back or bending the front knee. So you're all the time just tracking the wellness of your hips, the strength and the balance. Nice. Bending the front knee, straightening the front leg. Last time, bending the front knee, lean into it. Keep that sense of length through the back of the body rising up through the belly. Nice, lower your hands down, bring them either side of that thigh. Slowly stretch out through the front leg, drop your head down. Nice. Bend your front knee. Turn your toes towards the left side of your mat, hands in the middle of your mat. Bend one knee, really deepen into your thighs, and then bend the other knee. So if you keep your hands on the floor, then you're giving the strength to your arms, not your legs. So if you want to make it stronger, cross your arms and have the full weight of your torso of your body moving into the thighs. But if that feels too strong suddenly, then let it be a gradual strengthening. So as you travel from one side to the other side, see if you can stay low. Nice, both hands to the floor, stretch through both legs, bend both knees deeply down into your hips. Nice, straighten through your legs and then slowly just walk your feet all the way until they're behind your hands. So we've been doing this the last few days, so we're going to continue with this path. So both hands are shoulder distance apart, both feet are shoulder distance apart. Bend your knees down so you're in a low crouching position. Turn your knees towards the left, sit your right bum down. Nice, come back up and then turn your knees to the right. 
Sit your left bum down. Nice. So we're going to bring it on. So come back up to center. Turn your knees to the left. Sit your right bum down. Bring your left hand to your left knee. And then sweep your right leg straight out in front of you. So you have a right leg that's straight. A left foot that's left knee that's bent. Left hand on your knee. Right hand on the floor. Nice. Bend your right knee. Bring two hands to the floor. Come back up into crouching. Turn your knees towards the right. Sit your bum down. Right hand to the right knee. Stretch the left leg long. Nice. And come back up to center, bending your knee, both hands to the floor. So we're going to sweep from side to side. So turn your knees towards the left. Sit your bum down. Sweep your right leg long. Come back. Both hands to the floor. Turn your knees to the right. Sweep your left leg long. How do you kind of flow into it? Come back up one more time each side. Turn your knees to the left. Sweep your right leg long. Come back up. Turn your knees to the right. Sweep your left leg long. Cool. Stretch both legs long in front of you. We were doing this yesterday. Just going to bring it back again. So far, as far as where the soles of your feet or your heels are touching, and there's around two foot between your heels and your pubic bone. Nice. I'm just sitting up tall. Nice. Close. Lean back. Bring your feet close towards you. Sitting up tall. Hands to your knees again if you want. Standing, feet on the floor, elbows on your knees again. Nice, and then straight, legs go wide, sitting up tall. Nice, so far, lovely. And then rock so that your right foot's on the floor, you lift your left buttock, and, oh, right buttock. <laughs> and bring your left foot to the floor, lift your left buttock. You can interlock your fingers in front of you, or you can bring your hands behind the back of your head. And so as soon as you start engaging your arms, it's going to make it harder. So arms in front of you is maybe medium. Hands behind the back of your head is strong. So just see which version of this suits you. So you're rocking your foot flat. You're lifting your bum as high off the floor as you can. So you're really trying to, like, to name the different muscles the groups that are working here. It's like the adductors, the abductors, the glutes, the pelvic floor, the mm, obliques, mm, erector spinae. Mm, quads, who knows? They're all engaging as we do this. Nice. Bring your feet close. Again, choose what you do with your hands and lift your bum. Lift your bum. And you're really trying to really lift. Like this is the beginning of standing. So imagine that you're going to stand from here and there's a conviction in the pushing of your foot into the floor, which is really trying to engage into the floor to say, how would I stand up from here? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You see where we're going. <laughs> nice. Bring your feet wide. How would, you, how would you lift your bum from here? So really feel like you're lifting to rise the torso. So you're trying to notice how you engage with the floor to create height and length through the pelvis, through the hips. All the time you're lifting one buttock as high as you can. Lifting. Lifting. They said if we didn't have chairs in our sitting room or chairs in our office, reach your arms long and wide, uh, reach your legs wide, lift a bum, that we would sit up and down off the floor 250 times a day. We're missing that in our muscular structures. Lift one bum, and you can lean way over. That was quite fun yesterday. Lean, lift a whole leg. Lean, and lift a whole leg. How would you do that? Lift a whole leg. Oop. Double leg. One more time each side. <laughs> and the other side. Nice. Cool. Bring the soles of your feet together. Just rounding yourself forward, dropping yourself forward. Nice. Cool. Bring the soles of your feet to your mat, slowly rolling backwards. And then just begin to roll up and down along your spine. So as you travel up, as you travel down, just really ease into your spine. Traveling up and traveling down. 
Nice. One more time. Traveling up. And traveling down. Drop your knees to one side. You can do a gliding twist where you slide that left leg all the way up till your knee comes up towards your shoulder. Or you can just do a general basic drop your knees down to the side. Come back to center. Drop your knees to the left. You can just do dropping your knees or you can glide the right knee up towards the left shoulder. So choose which twist that you want, either basic twist or the gliding twist. Those of you who do classes with me regularly, gliding twist is one of my favorites. It becomes really such a deep kind of adventure into the side of your waist, the pelvis, the hips, the ligaments, and everything is just yum. Nice. One more time each side. How amazing. And then either having your feet resting flat on the floor, you can drop your knees wide, you can stretch your legs out long, whichever way you do it, make sure your legs are resting today. So let them rest because we work quite deeply into the, the weird and wonderful places in our hips and our legs. So let your legs rest right now. And just find the weight of the back of the body resting on the floor, the back of your head, your shoulders, the lower back, the buttocks. And you're just finding a resting in you. Uh, somebody was saying there recently that they feel like they were parked. I love that. So park yourself right now. Let me just land. Just be here now. You know, turn off the engine. Pause. It's a very important skill to have. It isn't like I'm being busy and I'm just going to continue being busy. It's like, you know, can I stop? Can I still myself? Can I deepen? Really gaze inwards, use the time, just around 30 seconds more. Can you really pause? It's not that long. Turn off the engine. Oh, super. You're very welcome to stay there and throw away the keys <laughs> um, or you can continue on with your day. Uh, very beautiful and lovely to be doing this with you. So you can draw your knees up if you wish. You can rock your knees from side to side. Um, just find a way that you slowly, steadily roll up into your seated position. Nice. Thanks, guys. How wonderful. <laughs> So good. I shall see you all again tomorrow for day 10 and have a wonderful day. It's very lovely. Great. Super guys. Ciao.